Hello, I'm in Pontypool Park. These are the Gorseth Stones, which were put here in 1923 in readiness for the Asteathford, which was held in Pontypool Park in 1924. Ooh. These are all called the Stones of Testimony. There is a lot to remember. <laughs> a lot. These Druids knew what they were doing, confusing and confuddling you and making you think. Gorseth Stones. Ooh. You see sheep, the remnants of sheep next to the stone of presidency, the altar of perfection, the Gorseth Stone. Ooh. You weren't around in 1924, were you? No, but my mother was, and she was part of the choir that uh, entertained people down in the, the bottom of the park. Wow, that's very exciting. I wish we had photographs, but uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen any ever. Oh. She was only in her teens, early teens. This whole park, massive park, used to be part of one person's family house. It was the land of the Hanbury family, the Hanbury Tennyson family. And they used to have a house which is now partially a school and partially the museum from Pontypool. And the whole of this area was where they just used to go out with their backyard. And it's massive. Can you imagine having a backyard like this? It's too much for one person or one family. It's our park now. It is a lovely sunny day in Pontypool Park though. The Hanbury fa family must have been quite uh, important at their time because the king and queen of the time, I think it was King George and his wife, came here and visited and went up to the folly Ooh. for a picnic. Oh, I've got a video of the folly. See here, go see folly. Baby birds were the sound of it. Into the woods, spooky path. Oops. Oh, wow. This is a big tree. There are some very big trees. There's a place called the American Gardens, which has got giant redwoods, but we're not there. But this is, I don't know what this is, but it's pretty big. Very nice. What are they? Weeds, but they're pretty weeds. <laughs> that was bindweed, which is destructive, but it's very pretty. It's like a big ant hill or something. Oh, it's, oh, it's the, the bottom of a tree. tree, the roots of a tree, Fallen. of course. More oh, spooky trees. Oh, it's like a double tree. Hello, double tree. They're very strange looking. Looks like worms have been eating through them or something. Huh. In the days before you had freezers, very rich people would have loads of ice in a house like that. For the, that's the stables, that's the main house, and that is the equivalent of a big old freezer. Ooh, pretty. This is the coffee shop, which is not open at the moment. But it's got all the social distancing measures in place for when it does. Ooh. But this whole stable block, well, it was a stable in the time of the Hanbury Tennysons. And then during the First World War, I think they had Sikh soldiers stationed here. And now it's a museum. It's big enough for a whole big carriage to go through. It is quite a big ice house. That's just where we came from. And now we're going into the rest of the park. Blackberries already. It's warmer than here, isn't it? Yeah. When I was very young, they had a big fence around that pond and danger keep out sights but now it's all lovely and pond like but no danger signs and where you can do socially distanced concerts whenever you want i don't think i've ever seen anyone do any sort of performance in there but times being as they are maybe from now on this will be bustling with people socially distanced who knows? Home of the famous Pontypool rugby team that provided the whole front row for a big Welsh team in the 1970s. The Pontypool front row. 
which everyone in Pontypool still talks about, even though that's a long time ago. It's very big for us here, very big. It used to be that you could just go in, sneak in without a ticket, but obviously not anymore. I used to like going there as a kid, not for rugby, but for fireworks. They had fireworks every year around the time of the carnival. The carnival went all the way around Pontypool, then into the park. There was people everywhere dressed in special costumes and it was amazing. But I don't think it's as big anymore, unfortunately. But it was amazingly huge when I remember it a long time ago. Because the last time I saw that mountain, it was covered in trees. And now it looks very bare indeed. And I'm a bit worried that it's going to collapse through lack of trees. I'm sure it'll be fine. I hope it will. Pond, lake. Johnny Wee's mother, the Tarzan from Hollywood, came here in the 30s, early 30s, and swam in this pond, in this pool, it when was, it was a it proper was pool. It was different to this end. This is new. Yeah, that also, no swimming now. Like All right, well, he couldn't do it now because it says no swimming. No swimming, except if you're a duck. Stream going through very gently. Practically stagnant. No, it's a great stream. It's moving a bit. Seems a prawn, some kind of species like a prawn, found in that brook. Yeah. That's quite rare. Oh, that's very Fresh impressive. Water. Yolo, what's his name? Yolo. I don't know. I can't think of him. The Welsh, the Welsh um, naturalist. Wow. More impressive brook than it looks then. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, we took we took you and David when you were tiny there because I can remember going down there when I was a little. Oh. For our picnics on the side of that. Oh, of that's stream. nice. Continuity. <laughs> be swings and roundabouts and a big slide there but they've moved them and a very easy to find your way out of maze we've just been here for a little while gonna go back now it's been a nice day in Pontypool Park ah <sighs> bye <laughs>